Hi guys, welcome back to Trek Rappers. And today we're gonna root this. Important instructions to be followed. Please follow the steps as shown. Any step missed or done wrong will make your device waste. Listen to the audio carefully. If you have any doubts, watch again. Then comment your doubts or DM us on our Instagram handle. Our uh, Instagram handle link has been given in the description. There are two files in the description. Please download only the rootfiles.zip. You can download the stock ROM in case something goes wrong. In case you do not follow the instructions or something goes wrong, DM us on Instagram for further instructions to install the stock ROM and recover your device. Please do not hesitate to ask your queries. Once you have downloaded the necessary files, store them in a folder. You can keep, uh, you can download the stock ROM later. The necessary files right now are the root files. Right click, click on extract here. Wait for the files to extract. Now we are going to install the necessary drivers required for the tab to work when it's in fast boot or uh, other modes. Okay, so now let's go ahead and install the necessary drivers required to install TWRP in our tab first of all we need to device, uh, disable the device uh, driver signature enforcement to do that just follow my lead uh, press windows x and then you'll see this menu in the menu click uh, shutdown or sign, go to shutdown or sign out and then hold shift and then click restart now we'll get a set of options uh, with which we can work yeah so here I would like uh, just go on to the troubleshoot and then uh, click on advanced options you should navigate using the arrow keys and enter to go inside and click on startup settings and then just click restart enter wait for your device to restart Okay guys, listen carefully. Now, after the device reboots, I want you guys to put the magic folder on an SD card and put the SD card in the tab. This will be used in the future. Please do as it said as it's very important. Oh yeah, so it's booted up. Uh, now, uh, I would want to go into the seventh option that's Disable the driver signature enforcement. Uh, it's the seventh option for me, so I'm gonna click on F7 and just wait for it to boot up. Once the device is booted up, just go here and search for uh, device managers. Uh, yeah, that's device manager. Just click on it and uh, yeah, I'll ask you some permission. Just click yes. And then uh, click on your computer and uh, click on action, add legacy driver, click on next, install hardware that I manually select from a list, next, and then uh, next again, have disk, and then click on browse, go to, go to the folder that you saved, and uh, check your driver, if, it's, uh, if your CPU is an x86 type system, Select that. Mine is an x64. I'm gonna select it. Click on open and okay. And then just click next. Again next. Yeah, there you go. Uh, my device driver has was installed successfully. And then just click uh, finish. And that's it. The drivers are set up. So let's go on to the next step. Once you have successfully installed the device drivers, now it's time to go ahead and install TWRP on our tabs. For, so please follow exactly as how I do. 
so open the twrp folder open the sp flash tool folder find for flash tool dot exe right click run as administrator and if it asks for any uh, administrator access just give it now here in the scatter loading file click on the choose in in now in, it'll open the twrp folder please select the lenovo tab 2 a10 android 5 scatter.txt do it this is very important please do it carefully click on open wait for it to load now uh, you can see that the locations are empty we want to boot recovery right now so just find the recovery tab and click on the location go again to the twrp folder see this img this is the necessary uh, file that we're going to flash in our tabs click on open now all you got to do is click on download all you got to do is click on download and just connect the device which is switched off so i would like to warn you guys before we proceed please take a full backup of uh, whatever you have in the tab contacts uh, games everything as this process is going to erase it as i told erase your tab fully as i told before so now let's go ahead and uh, switch off the tab and i'll just power it off now uh, before as you click download there now just connect uh, your device to the computer while the device is switched off i'm going to connect it right now so here you go as you can see my uh, computer has detected the device it's flashing and it has flashed successfully it has flashed successfully okay so since twrp is flashed successfully let's go and uh, boot into the recovery mode just disconnect your uh, tab from the computer power plus volume up and uh, yeah you'll get those three options just just click on recovery mode and uh, boot into it wait for it there you go that's the twrp wall been waiting for now uh, we need those magisk files which you kept in the sd card put your sd card in the device and just boot it up uh, and i click on never show and then click on swipe to allow now uh, there there are certain errors that happen now here you can see it's red so we got first fix this so let's just wipe the let's just format the data click on click on wipe that's here wipe and uh, click on the format data type yes y e s and then just click on this tick mark here that's it wait for it to happen now press home go to reboot reboot to recovery this this one here reboot to recovery wait for it to reboot now again click never show and just just swipe this yeah the errors are gone now i click this one for checking the errors it's gone now we want to uh, root this tab it's as good as a new tab you want to root it so go ahead press install uh click on select storage click on uh, micro sd card and click okay yeah in the magisk folder I'm, i'm clicking on the magisk folder that was there in the computer i transferred it so just click on that click on magisk uh, version 19.3.zip and just swipe it that's it that's it we got to root the tab and let let it take place let it happen uh just wait have some patience let it boot After doing this, all we got to do is just uh, reboot the tab. We'll take uh, yeah, done. Just click on reboot system, and the tab will set up as if it's a new tab. Uh, wait for the tab to boot. Yeah, there you go. And just just wait for it to boot, and that's it. It'll be rooted. I'll I'll install the root uh, root checker app to just show you that I've rooted the. Okay guys uh the tab is set up let me just uh choose the language just go ahead and just set up the tab i'm connecting to my wifi just just set up the tab okay guys uh so now the tab has uh, finished i've finished setting up the tab 
so let's go ahead to play store and install the root checker app uh, I would just close this root checker yeah click on it and wait for it to install yeah just give me a second it's gonna install the magic could automatically install itself once you flash you don't have to install anything else so let's just go ahead I would just show you the magisk manager here see carefully this is the magisk manager yeah uh, there's a, here the super user no no apps are right now so let's just, yeah the installation has finished of root checker let's go check out if we have rooted the device yeah just click agree and get started and, uh, yeah I'm gonna click on verify root yeah and then it asks for a super user permission I'm gonna click uh, grant and there you go root access has been installed properly on this device so now we have successfully rooted this tab hope you guys like the video please uh, like share and subscribe and give a big thumbs up uh, if we would get enough views likes and we would also make a video on adding cool features to a rooted device that were shown in the previous video I would show most of them uh, for example the toast and you know many things you could even increase your RAM and stuff so thumbs up